y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you all know me, my name is Katie and I make stuff vegan. I got stuff home. So I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a while. It might look like I have because I had to do something like filming ahead, but I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a minute. You know, that's my little spot. And I have so many favorite items there. So many things I just go to Trader Joe's to get. And I already did a top 10, like my Trader Joe's top 10. And I was like, let me know if you want a part two. And somebody was like, we want a part two. So I did a part two today. So if you want to see some of my favorite things from Trader Joe's, keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to never miss any of my videos. I didn't cook today, so I got a recipe. So, you know, I'll link my website if you want to, you know, tippy tap tap. Okay, let's get started. Okay. Yeah, I spent a little lick at Trader Joe's today, and I was like, we are in a recession. Like, I got to keep it cute. Okay, but I got, okay, I'm going to show you. Okay, so they have these sparkling waters, and like the last time I went, like a couple, like last month, I don't know, I forgot to get these, and they are so good. I drink water primarily, like I'm not really a juice girl, you know what I'm saying? And every once in a while, I want a little razzle dazzle, and I love a sparkling water, you know, just to give it a little flavor, but like no sugar. Period. I bought like five of these. They're 79 cents. Okay, these, I don't even know what these are. I had opened up. Trader Joe's is like 30 minutes from me, so you know, I was a little hungry on the way back. But what are these? These are called Bombas. I don't think there's like a real name for it. I think it's like a French snack. I don't know. But either way, when I first tasted these, like when I first, I was like, I don't know about these because it's like, they have a texture of Cheetos, but then it tastes like peanut butter. And I was like, mm, but these are so good. And I had forgot about these. These are like, cause I'm not also like not really a snacker, but I had to get these. I love these so, so much. And like, don't tell my friend Jasmine that I said that because I remember like, she had to coax me into buying them. And I was like, I don't know girl. And now I love them. So you should give them a shot. I just let, just to let you know, like they might have to grow on you. Okay. They might don't, don't do too much now. Okay, next. I'm gonna do these together. Okay, so I got I like to get these like giant baked beans. They're like uh, cannellini beans, like tomato sauce and um, other like herbs and spices. I love these so much. You just like warm them up. You do like a little crusty bread with it. Um, but what I like to pair them with, honestly, are these dolmas. Now listen. I love me a little doma. And Trader Joe's used to have these tzatziki sauce, but I had like a little weird, I had a little weird moment with it and I was like, I'm not buying this again. But these domas are super good. I like to pair these together. It just be like a cacophony of things on my plate. I ain't even gonna hold you. They used to have like this like, um, I don't know. It was like, what is it, lentils? I had this like Mediterranean lentil thing you put in the microwave and you put all three of these on your plate. You gotta leave you a little moment. Um, but now I don't even know how I'm gonna eat these. Oh, and hummus. Yeah, I make like a little Mediterranean situation. Um, I should do that today. Yeah, I'm gonna see. But these are so good, especially this. This was so surprising. Like these um, beans, so surprising. They're so good. You can even drizzle a little olive, olive <laughs> You can even drizzle a little olive oil on top. Girl, you could be living. You could be living right there in your, in your little house, okay? Next, I love getting these acai packets if the girls don't swoop them up. Like, buy one at a time. Buy one at a time. Like, they never have these. And I actually went to the Trader Joe's pretty late. So I'm so happy that they had these. Ooh. Um, I want my, like, add them to my smoothie, like, tomorrow. I can't wait. I'm going to do blueberries, bananas, this little packet, protein powder, and some almond milk, and some cinnamon. I'm being here lit, okay? Like, you have to get these. Um, you can use them to make acai bowls. I, I haven't done that. I always put them in a smoothie. Um, I be living my little life, okay? Okay, so these, um, I love these sunflower seed butter cups. Um, these were one of like the first things I had from Trader Joe's like when I first went vegan, because I was in Trader Joe's, I was like, what are we finna get? <laughs> like. What we finna do, child? Um, but I love these. They're very good. I don't get them often, but I saw them by the checkout, and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about these. Um, don't expect the Reese's because it's sunflower seeds, butter inside, but they are very good. Like they are very good. Like I wish they sold them how they sell um the other peanut butter cups, like in the little tubs, so you could get like little ones. But these are very good, okay? These are definitely my top ten. Okay, so I love this balsamic glaze because like who finna make their own balsamic glaze? 
I'm pretty extra. Like, I feel like if you look at through my content, you hear me speak, like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of extra. But I don't want to make no boss on the glaze on my own. So I love this. Like, what I'm finna do with this, I bought some Brussels sprouts, so I'm finna roast them in a little air fry so they get the crispy bits on it. And I'm finna drizzle this. Also, what I'm finna do, so um, Mykonos, I always forget the name of that brand. Mike, Mika, one is a city, one is a brand of vegan cheese. Whatever one, they have like this, I don't like a lot of their products, I ain't even gonna hold you, but I love their uh, mozzarella, and I got some in the fridge, and I bought some brusch bruschetta, and I'm gonna drizzle, I want, <laughs> be serious, it's crazy, you have to get crazy in here. Okay, this is kind of random and not Trader Joe's specific, but I like buying my Impossible Meat from um, Trader Joe's because everywhere else it's $10, and at Trader Joe's it's $6. So yeah, I love buying it from there. Um, I don't know what I had planned for this, but like since I was up there, I was like, let me get, I think I'm gonna make some kebabs. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I like to have it in the freezer just in case, just in case. Also another thing, I love these vegetable um, gyoza. So I don't, okay, so you know how like the, the little trend going around where like you put cornstarch in the pot and it gets crispy? I don't, I don't wanna do that. How I like making these, first of all, I even like putting these in the microwave with some soy sauce, a little bit of water, sesame oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, just put it in the microwave. I like doing that, cause it's like, it just gets the flavor like all up in there and then you dip, dip, dip. Another thing I like to do with these, I like to put them in a soup. You know, you just like, you know, you make a, a vegan chicken broth type base and then you put like some vegetables, put this in there, put some cabbage in there, you know what I'm saying? Like make a little moment, you know, like, I love these, they're very versatile. Um, and I haven't bought them in a, in a while because I've been getting them from the Asian market, but uh, I was up at the spot today. So I was like, let me pick these up. I love these, these are definitely my top 10. These are one of like OG KD Trader Joe favorites. Like these are like, again, one of the first things I bought when I went vegan. So I'd be like, oh, remember? Okay, one more thing, All right? One, two, three, four, five. Well, there's only one more thing in the bag, child. And that's this kimchi. I love this kimchi because it doesn't have fish in it. And I feel like <laughs> that goes without saying, cause it's like, why would I love it if it had fish in it? But it's so hard to find vegan kimchi. Like it's either, I've only seen two. It's this one, I'm lying. There's, you can go to Whole Foods and like in by the, where the tofu's at, they got some situations going on. It, <sighs> This one, and then you can go to H Mart and they have a vegan kimchi, but like, I don't live by H Mart. So I was so excited to get this. I saw the snack queen on TikTok. She made um, a soup and I wanna, you see you see the vision? I think I'm gonna do this. And then she put some gochujang in there and I got some vegan ramen noodles in there. <laughs> um, but I love this kimchi, it's actually very good. When you put it up next to, I ain't gonna hold you. When you put it up next to the, the H Mart one, it's like, I realized that last summer, but still very, very good. Very good. Anyway, thanks for watching my little chaotic video. I hope you had a good time. Let me know what you love to get from Trader Joe's. I love hearing from y'all. Also, like, let me know if you wanna do, I wanna do, you know what I wanna do? I wanna do like trying new items at Trader Joe's because like there's so much stuff I went and I saw, like I bought this um, brown sugar, oat milk, creamer thing. They have a vegan pizza, which I have opinions on. Um, they just launched a, a vegan egg. I ain't buy it today because I was just like, I ain't gonna hold you Trader Joe's. Why would I pay $5.99 for a vegan egg that I don't know what's gonna happen than when I could be get just egg for $3.99, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you can't return anything at Trader Joe's. Like, you can literally go back. You could, I could eat half this bag and be like, I ain't like it. <laughs> and they'll be like, okay, we'll give you your money back. But it's like, then I gotta go all the way up there. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you thought. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. While you're here, check out my other videos. You know what I'm saying? I have no video. I have no for them. I have plenty of video. Thank you again, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.